What's up team? Welcome back to Train Like a Ballerina and this middle split stretching flow today. Please ensure you are warm before doing the stretching sequence. I can promise you not only are you going to get flexible so much faster, you're also going to remain injury free. Let's start with our feet in a really wide stance. All we're going to do is shift our weight to the right, bending our front knee over those toes, coming down in your beautiful stretch in our left side here. You can hold onto a wall or a chair if you like. You can also put your hand on your knee here. Really go as deep as you can into that stretch. We're not bouncing, we're just holding. Taking a big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Making sure our bum is going out to the back, knees over toes. Big breath in. Big breath out. Go deeper, 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 deeper. Coming back up to standing. Shift the weight to our left side now. Bending all the way down. Really make sure that you're feeling it now in your right groin area, right inner thigh. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. Really focus on your breath throughout this stretching sequence. I promise you it's really going to help. On every breath out, you want to think of going deeper into the stretch. Nice, coming back up to center now. We're gonna come now with both legs bending over our toes and we're just going to shift, staying really low to our right, shift to our left and shift to the right, shift to the left. Four more times, four, three, two, and one. Nice job guys, facing the feet slightly out Shoulders back and our bum is dropping directly down, tailbone is dropping directly down, knees going over our toes. And we're pushing out with our knees over our toes. It's okay if you're here, even if you're here and this is stretching, that's okay. Hold on to something for support. Go to your maximum range of motion. Do what you can do. Taking a big breath in. And breath out. Guys, a beautiful stretch. I'm gonna hold this for 30 more seconds. You can close your eyes if you like. Listen to some music, watch some TV, anything to take your mind off and distract you or to relax you. Taking a breath in. And going a bit deeper, shoulders back, chest is open. Pushing out with those knees slightly, a little bit more slightly out. Body's coming in a little bit more of an angle forward for the last few seconds. Five, four, go even more deeper into the stretch. Three, two, one, good. We're coming all the way down onto our bottom. Now, we're just going to do 12 hip openers to make sure our hips are really warm. Knees are going over to our right side and we're opening up, close, up, close, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. This time we're staying our both knees out. Back is really straight, interlacing our hands, going underneath our toes and pulling our toes towards us really strongly as our body hinges forward. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Big breath in. And pull those toes towards you. Pull your body closer towards your feet or your feet towards your body. Good. You can also reach forward with your hands if you like. We've got 10 more seconds. Big breath in. Making sure your back isn't arching. You can feel yourself if you arch your back, you're not getting as much of a stretch. So make sure we're not cheating in these stretches. You're only going to be cheating yourself, I promise you. Big breath in. And big breath out. Do just this cross position here. Or you can cross over your right leg over your left and we're going to reach to our right side over the body and our left shoulder is coming to our right foot. That's quite confusing. We're gonna take a big breath in and breath out and cross the body. You're going to feel it in your right glute. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. And breath out. Big breath in. And breath out, 
go a bit deeper. Really make sure you're relaxing into these positions, guys. We're not tensing, we're relaxing into them. Big breath in. Breath out, go even deeper for three, two, one. Reach that hand further towards the other side. Good, and switching over. Again, just cross your legs like this, or put your left foot over your right. And this time we're reaching this way, big breath in. And we're reaching across. Big breath in. And breath out, go a little deeper, twisting that spine around, pulling with this hand. I'm gonna hold for 15 more seconds, breath in. And breath out. And breath out. Nice work guys, going on to our backs now. We're gonna grab our heels. This is called the happy baby in yoga. And we're drawing our heels and our knees towards the ground. Big breath in and breath out. And remember, we're not bouncing in any of these positions, we're just holding them. I'm gonna hold this for 30 more seconds. Really think of your knees and heels pulling towards the ground. All that energy is being pulled towards the ground. Big breath in and a big breath out. Breath in and out. A few more seconds. And out. Nice job, guys. Coming up to seated position again. We're just going to give the hip flexors a little bit of a stretch. Put your right leg behind you. You can come back on your elbows. You can have your right leg, sorry, left leg still straight or you can bend it up towards you for an even deeper stretch. I'm gonna go back onto the ground. If you can, pushing that knee down into the ground. Again, keep your left leg straight if it's stretching a bit too much. Gonna hold this for 30 more seconds. Big breath in. And out. Really relaxing in these stretches, guys. Breath in. One more time, big breath in. Think of all the energy going through your knee here, really elongating all of these leg muscles here. Beautiful and long. And on your breath out, push yourself up. Switching to the other side, left leg behind us, right knee to our side. Again, foot straight in front of us if it's stretching a bit too much, or if it's not stretching, Come back onto our backs. Think of the energy through that left knee now, pushing away from us on a diagonal, down into the ground. Three times, big breath in. And breath out. Breath in. And out. One more time, breath in. Breath out. Beautiful, coming back to our neutral position. We're gonna do a similar stretch like we did here. We're gonna do happy baby into middle splits here. So we're not gonna be holding this stretch. We're gonna be holding it later. Right now, we're gonna go down for two and out for two. Now again, it's okay if your middle splits is only here. If it's down to the ground, just go as far as you can go. So grabbing the heels, drawing them down to the ground for two. The legs come up to fifth and you're grabbing either the, the inside of your thighs, or if you can, your heels, or if you can, your calves, and going down for two. Coming back up, grabbing the heels, going down for two. Back up, and middle splits down. Back up, use the strength to bring your legs up. Getting into the middle splits isn't just about gaining flexibility, we also wanna gain strength as well. Down, two, cross in fifth, and middle splits, two, and back. We're gonna do four more times, and down, 
two, up to fifth, and middle splits. Going a little bit deeper each time, and down, two, up, and open. You can feel your legs letting go on each repetition. You're going a little bit deeper, sinking breath out, back up to fifth. Let's do one more time, out, two, breathe in, big breath out, drawing them back to fifth, crossing them over, give your legs a bit of a shake out, come onto your side, all the way up. Now we're gonna go onto our stomach. It's one of my favorite stretches for the middle splits. Coming onto our hands, and all we're gonna do is sink the knees out to the side. Sounds pretty easy, I know. Our bum is gonna go, sorry, our hips are gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna use our upper body strength to lower ourselves down, and then we're gonna come back to neutral. And down, and back to neutral. Put some towels underneath your knees. If it's hurting your knees a bit, it's okay. Use your upper body strength, guys, so it's not gonna be going too deep into the stretch too fast. Good, we're gonna do four more. Three. Trying to keep the feet on the ground. But if you do feel the stretch more here, you can also let them go slightly. Let's do two more. This time we're gonna go all the way down, lowering for four. Three, two, one. Hands in front of us. Release the knees a little bit back. And this time we're gonna try and push those heels down into the ground. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in. And out. Good, we're gonna do two more big breaths in. And out. In. And push those heels down into the ground as much as you can. And release those hips. A bit of a break. Make sure we're externally and internally rotating just as much. So we're just going to release the knees, so the ankles out to the side, and then come back to this position, pushing the heels down into the ground. And release. And push the heels down. And release. Push those heels back down. Last time. And push those heels back down. Put your hands by your side if you can. Push yourself up. If not, put your knees together. Coming back into onto your heels and just reaching forward. Still, your knees are going quite far out to the side, so we're still getting a nice groin stretch as well. Good. And just staying here for five, four, three. Two, one, coming up. Hope you guys are ready. Now, let's go into middle splits. We're gonna come first onto our bums, going out the legs as much as possible. And we're just gonna start crawling forward with our legs going out to the side. Taking a big breath in. And breath out. We're gonna hold this for a whole minute. It's okay if your legs don't go far out to the side yet. You just want to be coming to your maximum range of motion. Now it's okay if your legs don't come quite that much to the side yet. The whole point of doing the stretching sequence is to do it as often as possible to get us more flexible and mobile. So take a big breath in and take a big breath out and go a little bit deeper. And big breath in, big breath out, and crawling back 
onto our bum, folding our legs <laughs> together. Onto the final stretch now, we're going to do this three times, holding it for 50 seconds each with a 10 second break in between. You can do this exercise, the stretch against a wall. If you don't want to be holding your legs the entire time, you can also try with some small ankle weights. I think one kilo on each ankle is enough to really feel the benefit. We're just gonna do it in the center today, but do what you feel. Coming onto your back, straightening the legs in front of us, grabbing either the inside of our thighs, or our ankles or our heels. And just like we did before, dropping those both legs to the side. Big breath in. And on the breath out, go deeper. Big breath in. And breath out. Now this is where all the stretching techniques, such as breathing, listening to some music, having something to distract you, really, really helps. After a while, I can promise you it does start feeling really good. But if you're not quite there yet, if you're still struggling to get into the middle splits and it's still hurting quite a bit, make sure you're distracting yourself or you're listening to some beautiful music or you're really focusing on your breath. Big breath in. And on the breath out, go deeper. I like to think on every breath out, there's fresh oxygen going to my legs, going to my toes, going to my inner thighs. Breath in, and breath out. And hold for a few more seconds. And breath out. Good, bringing your legs together, internally rotating both of them, one after the other. Quite important, it's really important to internally rotate our legs after each repetition. And five, four, three, two, one, going back. Big breath in, big breath out. How are we doing? Are we feeling stretch yet? Do you feel we're getting closer to the middle splits? Big breath in. Even deeper, guys. Push your legs towards the ground. Make sure we're not bouncing with those legs. We're holding the stretch. Big breath in. And out. Good. Everything relaxed. Go deeper. Bringing the knees together once more. Internally rotating. Last time, guys. Really go far with that internal rotation this time. Dropping the left knee, dropping the right knee. Legs up, last time, all the way out to the side. Last time, guys, last big push. Think of how good you're gonna feel after you've done 40 more seconds, 40 more seconds, 30 more seconds. Big breath in. And out. Nearly there guys, last 10 seconds, breathe in and out. Go as deep as you can, go as deep, 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 deep. Breathe in, out and release. Nice job guys. Drop that left knee, drop that right knee. You did it guys, left knee and right knee. Come on to your right side. Sitting up. Thank you guys for joining me in this middle split stretching flow today. I hope you're feeling incredible. I'll see you at the next Train Like a Ballerina workout.